Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back, welcome back. So today I just wanted to um, share with you, I filmed a process. I made this uh, book binding, like a punching cradle. And I filmed the process. It took, it took me a while in between other things that I was doing. So I pieced it all together and fast forwarded and hopefully it will help if you want to make one for yourself. It is approximately, I don't know, 11, 11 inches this way. Of course, these little boards are set in about three quarters of an inch from either side. So that makes the inside more like nine and a half, which is fine because um, usually the paper that I have is just standard size copy paper. Let's fold this puppy up. And it just goes in like this. And I have a template here, just a random, random little template. And I have this punchy tool. And basically it's just punching through the holes, but it keeps everything uh, centered nicely and it keeps the holes down in the in the fold of the paper instead of sometimes sometimes if you're if you're punching and maybe you're just using a foam book to lay everything down and in, into the fold sometimes your your holes don't get pierced right in that fold so that's what a punching cradle is good for it's also good because you can put several pages in here several signatures stacked together even and everything is nice and nice and even so this should fit um, an eight and a half tall piece of paper up to at least nine inches, I'd think, a nine inch tall piece of paper. If you wanna make one bigger, just make these side pieces um, longer instead. That's all you have to do, and because these pieces will stay the same. I'm gonna put the, the template that I made for this punching cradle at my Flickr page. So if you go um, follow the link down below, to my Flickr page, the template will be there if you want to take a look at it and um, make one of these punching cradles for yourself. It's not, it might not be the exact way to do it, but it's the way I did it. And I covered the pieces with uh, book repair tape, which is a cloth tape. You can punch through this, like if you end up putting pages in here and you grab an awl and you punch through. You can punch through this stuff. It's, um, I mean, you're gonna wind up with holes down in here, but it's not gonna go anywhere. You know what I mean? It's not gonna break for a long, 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 long time because it's cloth in, inside this tape. So I hope you enjoy the little quick, quick little video here that shows the process on me building this punching cradle and I am nearly finished with the class. I have all of the videos uploaded. I have all the course materials together. I think there's there might be one more page I need to put in there. I mean, I am like, ooh, this close, this close. So I should be showing you very, very soon uh, the books that we make in the class and give you guys some information on that class. And um, I think you're gonna like it. I think you're gonna like it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy the punching cradle montage. And I will see you really, really soon in the next video. Bye, guys. Okay, so I'm going to make this punching cradle and I'm just showing you the few pieces that I cut out, which will be on the template. This is not necessarily the correct way to make one. This is just how I made one. <laughs> so I'm covering all this foam board, all these pieces with some book repair tape, which I've learned is one of the greatest things known to man. Unfortunately, it's extremely expensive for what it is. So use duct tape. They make some great patterned duct tapes. It doesn't really matter what you use at this point. I just thought, you know, just covering the foam board would give it some more support and make it last a little bit longer and so that that was my reasoning but you know what had i thought the duct tape i would have used the duct tape <laughs> so here i am cutting out those notches 
And those notches are what is going to let the square pieces fit in later. So there are two notches for each of those long pieces. And so I cut out all four notches, two on each one. These are about a quarter of an inch wide. Depending on your material, it could be wider or narrower than that. If you use real skinny stuff, it won't need to be quite that wide. And here I am covering those um, square pieces with some more book repair tape. Now I am taping those two long pieces together and they go notch to notch and there's about a half inch gap in between. And what I'm doing is I'm making sure that the tape makes a little groove in between. I'll show you here in just a second. You might be able to see it there, how the tape fits down into that area like a little, there we go, huh? A little U shape. And so it, the tape will go down one side and it'll go on the other board down the other side and then it will create a U shape by going across at the bottom. And this just creates a little bit of a groove at the bottom. It's just, it's just what I did. So I wanted to explain that to you because uh, it just, I figured it would help it fold, give it some room in there so that I could punch um, my signatures. So here I am just taking that, that book tape I am cutting it away from those notches because those notches have to be clear all the way through so that that can happen. So you can fit those, those little square boards in there. Here I'm gluing on the support on the outside and I am reinforcing all the seams with hot glue because hot glue rocks. And here's the other one for the other side. And this will just kind of help keep everything together and sturdy. And as soon as I quit mucking around with the hot glue, I will show you what I quickly noticed here, or at least to me, it was something that I noticed. Still messing around with the hot glue. Yep. Let's get all those seams. <laughs> okay, so I noticed that those boards are about an inch too tall. It, it sat up too far from, from the tabletop. So again... <laughs> still seeming here. So what I did was I sliced through the foam board and I folded it back just like that and I'm just going to glue those back. And that made those little side pieces shorter and not so far off the table. And here I am covering them with book tape because apparently that's what I do now. I'm just going to cover everything in book tape. Um, so on the template I, the pieces that, um, the measurements for the pieces that are in that template are the ones that I ended up with at the end. And there it is. It works, guys. Yay! Oh, my God.